Hey guys, welcome to another day on the shop. Today is a sad day for me. 15 years ago, this thing was prominent on the road. Today, it's in my shop. Not for a good thing. So, I'll explain this in a minute. Let's rewind and let's see what the plan was yesterday evening. Today, we're getting prepped for the Camaro registration. So, uh, I've got a couple things I gotta do to make sure it's roadworthy enough to make it about 10 miles there and 10 miles back. We're gonna change the oil. We check the brakes and all that, the lights, all the way around. Uh, windshield wipers, because it has been sprinkling a little bit. But we're gonna check the trans and the oil. Change the engine oil. If you don't know, this car has not been on the road legally for over 15 years. Uh, the last time it was registered was 2006. We've replaced the brakes, the oil in every single orifice of it, spark plugs, carburetor, fuel tank, wheels, tires. So if you haven't seen any of that, check back on the other videos and see how the adventure has unfolded to now. But this is going to start a new venture once this thing's legal. We're going to start taking it around more, taking it to the track, and everything else. So let's get into this. All right, so as you see, the spark plugs are all clean. They have new uh, boots protectors on them. Shined up a little bit of the alternator here. Uh, new fuel line all the way around. Carb is a different carb. It is electronic choke and I have not uh, made it to where I've done the wiring for it. I won't make it today. Fuel pump is a new fuel pump. It's just a stock replacement. Uh, spark plugs have all been changed, looked at, and everything else. This header has been taken off and uh, had a few holes in it, welded up, and resealed. So we got that. Uh, nothing else has really been done to this thing. It's, uh, it's quite a good thing. Uh, brake lines. Front brake lines have been redone. Rear brake lines have been redone. Brake master cylinder has been redone. The booster has not been touched. The calipers, the wheel cylinders, and all that have been done on the rear. So, But now we're going to jack it up and uh, get this old, old-ish refreshing oil out and put new refreshing oil with some Lucas uh, oil treatment in to lube up everything. Uh, we're going to check the transmission fluid level uh, so that we make sure that it is topped off. Other than that, I'm not really worried about everything else. And then in the morning, we're going straight to the DMV and uh, do a little road test on the way there and back. So let's get to it. All right, safety first, jack stands. Make sure this thing doesn't fall on me. Then we're gonna pop up under there and get this oil out. All right, so uh, I don't like how the 350s have this. I like how the newer style uh, on the LSs come up at an angle like that. 
it helps out. Second, uh, I'm not using expensive, expensive oil in this yet. Uh, I'm not really racing it or beating on it too bad. I'm kind of just cruising in it, daily driving-ish, letting it idle, uh, tuning it, uh, not for max RPMs or anything. So right now I'm just kind of washing away all the nastiness from 15 years of sitting. And eventually, once I work my way through that and feel more confident, and especially starting to look at going to races and stuff, I'm going to uh, put some more expensive oil in it. Like some either VR1 or Mobile 1 or something like that. And then this is all going to get prettied up. All this rust is going to go away, and it's probably going to be like this up here. Hammered black. Uh, the rest of the car is going to get a little uh, TLC and some uh, new stuff. So, uh... Yeah, well, oil change should be done. Uh, I use Lucas, uh, the high mileage synthetic the stuff is sticky, heavy duty oil stabilizer. So uh, it works, quiets the motor down, gets the oil where it needs to be. So next, we're gonna check the oil in it. I'm gonna run it and check the transmission fluid. All right, out the way. This, off. this dipstick doesn't like me. It never shows an accurate reading. All right now it's looks like it's up to full. You can kind of see that. And yes, I know the laser's still here. I got parts in for it. It's hopefully going to be done. I got parts in for the 240. So mostly bolts. So let's crank this. Using the key. So transmission oil looks good. Ran for a little bit, let it let it settle for a second, and I'm gonna check the oil one more time. I need to check the power steering fluid too to make sure there's enough in there because it has had a leak over the years. Uh, looks good. All right, power steering fluid. Yeah, it's on full. So, with this car, I didn't know. With the cow, you can't get to the windshield wipers. So, you have to get to them with the hood lifted. Where my windshield wipers go? <sighs> Got some Michelins here. They're not the greatest, but they should work. Pull this thing off. Let's see. Let me see. Come on. Alright, so that second one, the passenger side is a little loose. I don't know why. The tolerance is not the tightest on the new one. So, hopefully it doesn't fly off while I, while I need it. Otherwise, I'll have to figure out a different solution. Alright, so until tomorrow, we're ready. See y'all in the morning. Alright, so I started a little bit late filming, but I'm on the road. It's bright, it's loud, it's warm, but all in all the car's doing pretty good on my drive to the DMV. Alright, well that was a fun trip so far. Uh, I had to stop. I don't know what my oil pressure is, it's not reading. So, let's look. All right, so as I expected, the oil gauge works. There's no oil in the car. Yeah, 
We're going to throw some oil in here uh, in this parking lot. That's what we're going to do. And that's what we're going to have to do. I guess I'm going to have to drive up on a curb a little bit and uh, make that happen. All right, so we made it back home. Yeah, the first drive uh, that far, uh, the plan didn't go as planned. So, I'll show you what I got going on. I'm gonna try and start it and watch this oil pressure. Well, I didn't expect it to start, but uh, I got a big issue. Big, big issue. We changed the oil last night. And you see right there, that's enough. That's the second, third five quarts I put into it leaking all out. The adventures of a 15 year old non running engine bites me in the butt on the way to registration. So what we got to do is see the gasket and possibly the oil pump and I'm almost guaranteed it's the oil pump and I'm paranoid that it's hurt the motor. Motor doesn't sound good, it's not run right. Uh, so. Alright, so now you see where we're at. You see what's going on, you see the fact of I think my oil pump completely is shot. So, let's get to breaking all this stuff down real quick and uh, seeing what we can do. Uh, probably what I'll first do is empty the radiator and pull the radiator because I do want to clean up the sides and make it pretty again. So this panel is going to come off. Uh, oh, I got a new prize for this, which is probably, I don't know where it's going to go. It might go right here probably uh, and then we'll uh, hopefully be able to finagle this out maybe we'll probably pull this back pull the radiator out pull this forward pull it out uh, then we'll have to take the fan off take the alternator off take the power steering off take these brackets off and I'll clean them up probably um yeah I'm not excited about this I would have rather been driving this thing around and slowly cleaning it up and slowly doing this, but plans don't always work out. So, we're going to have to break out some boxes and see what else I got in the boxes for the Camaro. And let's get to cleaning. All right, on a much lighter note, uh, Super Clean sent me a, a little bit of stuff and uh, for my messes I make. So, uh, nice little hat. big right now so got some floor observant absorbent I like this stuff so let's open this all right just opens up yummy stuff I had the big thing of it at one point I think I threw the bottle away I like the little sifter it comes with so let's try this stuff out let that soak up some of this oil that I've dumped all over my floor. Let that sit there for a little bit and we'll brush it around with a broom. I want to say thanks Super Clean for sending me some, uh, some products to use because I do love your products. Check them out in the link in the description down below. So, back to this breakdown of this engine. All right, that's some nasty stuff. I guess I'll be cleaning that up too. So, may just order some new radiator hoses. If those look okay, gets a little bit warm, it might split open. So, we're gonna pop both the top and the bottom off, and like I said, they look decent, but $30 will keep me from being stranded on the road. 
All right, uh, there's one thing down, just that hose. On to the next hose. All right, this is a mess. Look down here. Just plastic, other pieces, all kinds of crap. Big old hole, rust, leaves. So I have to brush all this out before I put it all back in. Oh, let's see. Well, I poured fluid everywhere. That's normal. That's how my day's going right now. Is if it can go wrong, it's going wrong. So, uh, yeah, uh, I guess I need to order another lower radiator support. All right, I'm probably going to plug these off just to make sure I don't get anything in them while they sit here. And start from there to disassembling all this junk. So, let's start doing that. We'll unhook the battery so we don't ground anything out with the alternator. All right, so we've got the alternator out. I got the bracket out. I'm going to take this bracket out, clean it up as well. Um, I put the bolts back, making sure that I have the bolts where they go. And then on top of that, I took the uh, belt off that goes to the alternator and labeled it for the alternator because I don't want to uh, confuse it and spend an hour putting bolt or putting uh, belts on two different uh, things. So get this bracket off and so I can clean up all this junk you see all that that's oil and fuel and all kinds of nastiness so this is the time that I get to take and clean this whole motor up uh, pending the fact of if it's not blown up or not I hope it's not but if it is well then I guess we're gonna go to a more performance based motor and figure out how to put the power down to the wheels without it being all squirrely, which means suspension mods. As you see, I am draining more coolant onto the floor. And look, silicone. That's not good. There's an abundance of silicone in the water passage. Whoever put this together was not very skilled at putting RTV on because that looks like literal silicone, like household silicone. Look how dirty this stuff is. So, I'm going to have to take this off, take the timing cover off, and we're going to check it from there. Uh, we're working our way down. I don't see me fixing this today because uh, I'm going to have to order some parts, but I'm going to have to check a few things, including this. So, we can probably take this uh, pulley off and go from there. All right, so in a day's work, we've got that done. I've got to get that crank pulley off, or uh, dampener. Once I get that dampener off, 
then I'll have access to everything else behind there and look at how nasty and crummy all this is so I gotta clean up all this stuff but it gives me an excuse to uh, as you see there's not much wiring on the front of a Chevy 350 if you've never seen one before couple wires over here couple wires right there couple wires right here so it's very 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 easy to work on minus how I am and dumping everything everywhere so <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm going to pull that uh, crank pulley off real quick. All right, well, with in light of what just happened, thanks Super Clean for giving me this floor absorbent. So, uh, well, this was a nice bottle of floor absorbent. It will be uh, greatly appreciated due to the fact of my huge mess I just made. So, I'll soak all this up. This stuff works wonderfully. It actually states that you can do up to 15, or uh, equivalent up to 15 pounds of clay. So, this is going to clean up my huge mess. So, well, don't dump five quarts of oil, if not more, all over your floor. And expect not to have to clean it up. <laughs> well, I'm going to let this floor absorb it, absorb for a, a little while. Uh, I'm going to sweep some some of this into itself, and uh, yeah, we are going to get back to this. We're going to spray all this down with some Super Clean, clean it all up, pull this uh, off. See if uh, it's just the front main seal. If it's not, it's probably the oil pump. So oil pump, we'll change it out and we'll get everything else situated because right now it's not looking so good. So at least we'll have a clean engine or a new engine. So stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for joining in and hopefully this entertained you a little bit. If you have any suggestions or comments, put them in the comments down below. If you haven't entered to one of the giveaways, hop on Instagram, make sure you subscribe on YouTube and find the newest giveaway on Instagram. Uh, I'm about to announce a new winner of this upcoming giveaway, and then we will have a bigger giveaway right after that. So, till next time.